North Korea will stay resolute in its ambitions to put a military spy satellite into space despite its launch failure on May 31, with the divided United Nations unable to find unity on the issue, a foreign policy expert told Reuters. Pyongyang made a failed attempt at launching its first spy satellite on Wednesday, with the booster and payload plunging into the sea, North Korean state media said, a setback in its pursuit of a space program that dates to the 1990s. Despite the launch failure, however, the attempt speaks to North Korea's continued honing of its capability, sharpening its missile-slash-nuclear weapons program, according to Eleanor Shirori Hughes, a non-resident fellow at Chicago-based think tank Econview. Although the United States, South Korea, and the West have condemned the North's space vehicle launches for using ballistic missile technology, the United Nations Security Council will struggle to address the issue under a united front amid divisions over the ongoing war in Ukraine, said Hughes. Because of the Ukraine war, um, there is Russia's going to veto whatever the United States, sorry, United, UN Security Council wants to do when it comes to like how to respond to North Korea, and I think China will do the same thing. So in that regard, North Korea, it, there's really not a lot of movement for um, the UN to really take action and be on a united front about North Korea, unfortunately. How do they ensure that like they can trust in their local authorities? And I, I, I feel like every time in this case, if we're talking about North Korea, every time that North Korea fires a missile of some sort and there is possibility that it may either fly over Hokkaido or be in, uh, landing but within like Japan's EEZ, territorial waters, whatever, um, that people, I'm not entirely sure people, how serious the Japanese people in this case or Korean people or South Korean people will take when it comes to like following um, guidance from authorities. Japanese people are now looking at not just like North Korea as the main, you know, provocator or um, I guess like assertive or aggressive, you know, neighbor, but also China. And that's where I think that's a real dilemma for a place like Okinawa, kind of to go back on my point about the J alert system, where I'm thinking that when they look at all these, you know, different developments, perhaps this is really, you know, prompting local officials to be a lot more proactive about how to make evacuations and the J alerts more effective.